Welcome back. Well, an early morning attempted robbery taking place resulting in more than four dozen shots fired, surfacing from a shootout between police officers and two men. One of those men killed at the scene, with the other in hospital. Our Lloyd Allen was on the scene. Well, it was shortly after 9 a.m. Monday morning that an attempted robbery took place right at this Royal Bank located near Roosevelt Avenue and Mackey Street. We have some information that there may be uh, some rings uh, operating. Chief Superintendent Solomon Cash says this latest incident may be part of an organized spree of robberies targeting unsuspecting persons or businesses. He says it was sometime before 9 a.m. that officers were tipped off about a planned robbery at the bank involving a black Acura. When they arrived, they approached two men in a car parked at the rear of the building. Uh, based on the intelligence of the officers, uh, they saw a vehicle fitting the profile as described uh, in the information. Uh, the officers engaged that vehicle. Uh, as the officers engaged, uh, two persons emerged from the suspect vehicle. Uh, one armed man uh, opened fire on the police. The police, being in fear of their life, uh, opened fire on that suspected person. Now, according to Cash, at least one of those men was killed during this incident. As you can see, uh, the coroner is arriving right here. No officers injured during that gunfire exchange. These cones indicating the number of shots fired, more than 48. Now, regarding that ring of robberies, Cash also added this update. Again, we have identified several of these rings. Uh, like I've said earlier, uh, we have already produced several flyers that we uh, give to the media, asking the public to assist us in identifying and locating these persons. There were two persons uh, involved here on scene, but our intelligence suggests that there were several other persons involved in this, uh, this incident. Cash added that this latest incident did not involve an armored truck as initially believed, but was connected to a deposit being made at the bank. This latest attempted robbery comes almost two weeks after an armed robbery in the Carmichael area. Investigating officers met a gunman exiting a business with a bag in hand. Upon seeing the police, the suspect pointed his weapon in their direction. The gunman was shot in the process. It wasn't long after that he and his accomplice were taken down and taken into custody. Cash says as they continue to monitor similar crimes, the public must be cautious. That if they see the police engaging in any activities, uh, that we ask them to uh, remove themselves because who knows, uh, uh, when we deem a suspected person, most of the time uh, in the process of them trying to uh, evade uh, law enforcement, they may just open fire uh, to prevent us from capturing them. Lloyd Allen, ZNS Network News.